Hi, I'm Sharon, and I'm wearing my bee hat because we're about to go out into my bee yard. Recently, I have discovered a cheap and easy way to feed my bees. Um, initially, I bought this high front feeders that I found out aren't really a good idea to put in the hive because they can create a robbing frenzy with bees from different hives going into one hive to get their sugar. We don't want that to happen. So I placed those on a table, and then um, I realized that just too many bees were crowding into the three feeders that I had and I need to get more feeders. I didn't want to spend any more money, so I was just thinking of a, of a way to feed them without spending any more money. And I came up with a solution that really works for me. Um, I've got my mason jar full of sugar water. Most of you know how to, um, how to make this, 50% sugar 50, and, and half water. You know, just cook it on the stove for a few minutes until the sugar um, is dissolved. Most of you know that. Um, put it in the mason jar. Of course, you want to wait till it cools. If you don't have mason jars, there's no reason to buy them. If you have an empty peanut butter jar that's clean, an empty jelly jar that's clean, what you have will work. And you get a plate. It can be a ceramic plate from your kitchen. Um, the, the best option is probably a like a plastic um, disposable type plate that you can get from the grocery store. Initially, that's what I used. Um, what I've discovered is that styrofoam does not work and paper does not work. Those are just too flimsy. You need something with a little firmness to it. What you're going to do is you take your mason jar, take off the lid, put the plate on top, and then you are going to invert that and put it out where you feed your bees. Just a, enough sugar is going to leak out to attract the bees as they suck on that sugar, more sugar is going to be drawn out. And I found it really works just as well as a commercial feeder without spending any money. Most of you have sugar in your kitchen. Most of you have a, a plastic plate in your kitchen. Everybody has some kind of jar. So the money is zero. You're recycling. You're being green. It's cheap. It's easy. So now we're going to go into my backyard so we can see exactly how well this works. I've got my gloves. I typically do not suit up unless I'm actually going to go directly into the hive. I found out I really don't need to spend all that time if I just have a, a hat to keep them out of my eyes, out of my hair or gloves so I won't accidentally get stung. If I squish one, then um, everything works out just fine. So here we go out to my backyard. And we are going to be passing some of my messy office area and I don't care because that just lets you know that I'm a real person with a real life. So we are going out into my backyard in the rural or semi-rural area just north of Atlanta. The mariachi music that you might hear is courtesy of my neighbors. Okay, so I normally do not keep a pillowcase and a bath mat on my bee table, but I just realized that we needed some contrast. So you can see what I'm using right now. We've got the high front feeders um, that the bees are really going for, especially the one in the middle, if you can see that. And this is one of the feeders that I just made. We have these black and white hornets that I do not like and some other kind of wasp here that I don't like. Um, but I'm not going to kill those right now. I've got a bee in my hand. Okay, so I'm going to set this down and put in my gloves for a second because whenever I work with this stuff I wind up getting bees on my hands. Not that that bothers me, but sometimes if they're feeling a little angry then I will get stung. Let me just Angle that down so you can see those girls going for it. Okay, so I'm putting on my gloves. Whoops, dropped one. Okay, got my plate. Let me move this one out of the way so we can see a little bit better.
Okay, so I've got my mason jar, I've got my plate. Let me adjust this so maybe you can see. Take off the lid. See, I've got the plate on the mason jar, and I'm going to slow, quickly and carefully turn this upside down. Hopefully without slipping. And here I go. As I turn it, just enough sugar comes out to attract the bees. And they're already coming. As they suck up that sugar, they're going to pull out more. And so I have a cheap and easy feeder. This morning, I had three bee feeders out here because I was using the high front. And now I've got seven feeders because I found a cheap and easy way to do it. So with more feeders out here, I might actually have to come out and feed them a little bit less often. And that's how I did it. Thanks, have a great day.